Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Lav here. Uh, just a little story I want to share with you guys. Um, you know, you never know where you're going to run into carbon monoxide issues. Uh, I got this little personal carbon monoxide detector. It's a little um, testo. If you can see it. It fits right in my front pocket. It's got a little clip on it. You know, I usually put it right in my front pocket with my uh, you know, screwdriver, uh, my Sharpie, and my pen. And, uh, you know, when I go in a house, I always have it on. It's It's got regular little batteries. I can change little AA batteries. And if it goes dead, I just change the batteries, throw them out. It's good for a couple of years. It's a personal carbon monoxide detector. Um, if I go down work on a boiler or a furnace down in the basement, I know when I'm walking in there if it's safe or not. It's what they call a personal carbon monoxide detector. So I went to the supply house today and uh, to get some parts for a furnace I was working on. And I was going in there to order some stuff, and all of a sudden I hear this beep, beep. What the hell is that? Is that my phone? I checked. No, sure enough, it's a carbon monoxide detector going off. 14 parts per million, it's saying. Now I'm at the counter, a, a supply house, you know, a big supply house. They got furnaces and boilers and, you know, all kinds of stuff. So I'm saying, uh, that's a little odd, you know. I know this thing's working. I've been using it right along. So I go tell the guys at the counter, hey, you got, you know, carbon monoxide issue here. 14 parts per million. Um, you know, maybe you got a problem with a gas boiler or, or something. He says, oh, we ain't got no gas in the building, so it can't be carbon monoxide. This is the guy's telling me this shit. So I go looking around, sure enough, that, you know, there's a boiler room down here, and it's got an oil-fired boiler in there. And I go in there, same thing, 14 parts per million. And uh, sometimes oil boilers, man, they can put out serious carbon monoxide. Three, four thousand parts per million like nothing. So just because it's not gas don't mean you can't have carbon monoxide. So then I'm, I'm going around telling everybody. And these guys are all looking at me like I'm crazy. Oh, look at them. He's gonna, he's, they're all laughing. At... Then uh, I'm talking to the guy who's in charge over there. Oh, I've been here for 13 years. I never, I've never been sick. Hey, pal. You got a problem here. This is something you need to be aware of. You know, it's a silent killer. So he says, well, go check down in, down the other end of the building down there in the warehouse. So I go to the warehouse, open up the door. 22 parts per million. I look over there. It's a, um, you know, a forklift. Propane-fired uh, forklift. Now, the thing wasn't running or nothing. But I'm sure when that thing was running, it's pumping out some serious CO. And it's been cold up here, so the door's been closed, and it's filling up the building with carbon monoxide. So I'm telling these guys, and there's a little chart here. I don't know if you could read it or not, but basically, what it says is, you know, acceptable levels of carbon monoxide in a living space is nine parts per million. Ex uh, concent uh, maximum concentration of continuous exposure in an eight-hour period is 50 parts per million. You're not supposed to have more than 50. Anything is something to be concerned about, you know? 800 parts per million, uh, death within two hours. 400 parts per million, one to two hour life-threatening. Life-threatening after three hours. So I don't know, let's see if you guys can see this. Hopefully you can see it. It's a little chart there. I got for my back, out of my back rack kit. So this, the moral of the story is, you know, you can get one like this, a uh, little sense it to hang around your neck. Um, the problem with that is, them are throwaways, you can't replace the battery. Um, these things are only good for a couple of years, but they're nice. It fits right in my front pocket. You know, you walk into someone's house, it could be a gas stove that's an issue, an oil fired boiler, a gas boiler. We all need to, um, you know, be aware of our surroundings. But I thought it was odd that these guys would be arguing with me about, oh, there's nothing wrong, we're fine. You know, there's no gas in the building. Guess what? Wake up and get a get a fucking clue, guys. Unbelievable. So that's my little story. Hopefully, um, you guys will get something out of it. And, and you know, things are only a couple hundred bucks. You know, you really should get something. Get one of these, especially if you're working on boilers or furnaces. You know, you're walking in. How do you don't know you're walking into? Uh, you know, high carbon monoxide. Now, these carbon monoxide they sell, uh, detectors they sell in the store, they don't go off those 70 parts per million after three hours. Now, in my state, anything over 35 parts per million, the fire department put their masks on. 
So these carbon monoxide detectors are not going to go off those 70 parts per million for three hours. That's a life-threatening type of thing. It'll save your life. But you can have long-term exposure to carbon monoxide, low-dose carbon monoxide, long exposure. Um, it's a problem. And I'm just trying to, uh, you know, raise awareness of what's going on here. So hopefully you guys uh, get a little something out of the video. And um, I don't know, that's just my feeling about the whole thing. Yeah, a couple of uh, side effects of carbon monoxide is like flu symptoms. If someone's sick all the time and they got the flu and they can't shake the flu, well, maybe there's a problem with carbon monoxide in the house and, um, you know, they think they got the flu. So I'm just trying to, um, you know, stir, stir your thoughts and, um, you know, we all need to be able to identify this issue and it's an issue you know there's people up up in new hampshire that died uh, a couple of days ago uh you know it's a problem so i'm not trying to be a jerk or nothing i'm just trying to uh, raise awareness of um make you guys think that maybe you know uh, maybe I need to get that carbon monoxide detector. Or maybe get a 320, you know, Testo 320 and check the carbon monoxide, uh, you know, in the flue gas and see what's going on with that. Um, I've been very impressed with the with the Testo 320. And um, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just bringing this to my subs. A lot of these guys that watch my stuff are working guys like me. And, um, you know, some of them, you might not have this device. You know, you might be walking into something and you don't even know about it. So, get yourself one of these and maybe you'll save a life. You might even save your own family's life. Alright guys, uh, hopefully um, you enjoyed the video.